Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Glover, and I'm going to speak to you regarding the tithe line. I had tithed it for over 30 years until one day I realized that tithing was a lie. I was at home one day reading in February of 2005, reading about tithing. I had really stopped tithing for two weeks. And I realized that, I, and I thought, my God, I haven't tithed in a couple of weeks. I need to tithe. So I began to read Hebrews 7 chapter. But in reading it, I realized that Abraham gave 10% of somebody else's property to Melchizedek. He didn't give his own property to Melchizedek in Genesis 14 chapter. It was somebody else's property. It was actually spoils of war. The Bible says in Genesis 13 chapter that Abraham was rich in silver and gold and cattle. Therefore, Abraham did not give Melchizedek 10% of his own property. He gave Melchizedek 10% of somebody else's property. And I realized that I had been lied to. Not only that, I had taught that lie. And I thought, if that's a lie, what else about tithing is a lie? Therefore, I began to read every verse in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation on tithing. And I realized something, that tithes is not money. It's food, products, and animals. Every verse that deals with tithing always talks about food products, not money. It don't make any difference whether you read what Jesus said. It was mint, condom, and, and something else, anise. It was not money, but preachers would tell you money. Even when Israel brought food to Jerusalem, it was not money. Uh, the, four, uh, the 14th chapter of um, Deuteronomy clearly says, told Israel to bring their food products to Israel and in celebration before the Lord and eat it and share it with the Levites. But God also said in Deuteronomy 14 chapter, if the way be too far for thee, change your food products into money. But once you get there, take that money and buy food products with it, wine, oil, and whatever, or whatever else, corn, and whatever else. Take it and eat it before the Lord in celebration and share it with the Levites. God did not tell Israel to take that money and give it to the Levites. But also, there's a, a, a particular cycle to tithing that preachers don't preach. Every first and second year, the tithing was brought to Jerusalem, ate before the Lord, and shared it with the Levites. Every third year, all the tithing was given to the, uh, the Levites as well as the poor. Are the Levites, the widows, the fatherless, and the strangers. And you will find that in Deuteronomy 14, chapter, verses 28 and 29. Also in Deuteronomy 26, 12 through 15. Now we go to the cycle again. We go into the fifth and sixth year. The tithing was brought to Jerusalem. I'm sorry, the fourth and fifth year. The tithing was brought to Jerusalem and ate before the Lord and shared with the Levites. Now the sixth year, that third year called the year of tithing, all the tithes was given to the Levites as well as the poor. Are the Levites, the strangers, the fatherless, and the widows. Now the seventh year was the year of the Sabbath. No one tithed it during the seventh year because it was the year of the tithe, the year of Sabbath. Therefore, the land had to rest. Therefore, because there was no crops being uh, 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 done or cultivated, there was no tithing. Now, go back to uh, Malachi chapter three, verse. Uh, eight and nine will a man rob God yet you have robbed me but you say wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and offering you are cursed with the curse but you have robbed me even this whole nation who is God talking to he's talking to the Levites who were not sharing with the poor he's not talking to Israel you must read the entire chapter one two three and four to find out what was happening the Levites are the priests was not doing right by the tithes therefore because the Levites was not sharing with the poor Israel was cursed. You have to read Malachi 3 verses 5, which is never read nor explained by preachers. Malachi 3 verses 5 says this, And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, and against the false swearers, against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and they that turn aside the stranger from his right, that fear not me, said the Lord of hosts. What you mean, turn aside the widows and the fatherless and the strangers from their right? The widows and the fatherless and the strangers had a right to the tithe, according to Deuteronomy 14, 28, and 29, Deuteronomy 26, 12 through 15. They had a right of the tithe. This is actually talking about the third year tithe. And if you didn't, if, uh, 
if the widows and fathers and strangers were not taken was not taken care of, a curse was brought upon Israel. Deuteronomy 27, 19 lists 12 curses. And one of those curses in verse 19 says, Cursed be he that perverted the judgment of the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and all the people shall say amen. That's the King James Version. Now Deuteronomy 27, 19 in the Good News Bible says, God's curse on anyone who deprived the foreigners, the orphans, and the widows of that right. And all the people shall answer amen. What this verse is actually talking about is that is that if Israel did not take care of the widows and the fatherless and the strangers, a curse would be upon, uh, brought upon them. That's the first curse. Now, what's the second curse? The second curse is this. Curses, uh, Deuteronomy 27, 26. Cursed be he that confirmeth not all the words of this to do them, and all the people shall say amen. In other words, there were over 600 commandments or laws under the Old Covenant. And if Israel disobeyed one of those laws, a curse was upon them. They had to obey every law. Therefore, they were stealing from the poor. And because they were stealing from the poor and not obeying the laws of God, a curse, a double curse was uh, brought upon Israel. It wasn't the Israelites stealing from the poor. It was the priests that were stealing from the poor. And since pastors have put themselves on the same level of the, of, of the priests, they are thieves. Not the Israelites that was thieves, but the preachers that are thieves. Actually, priests, I mean, preachers are not priests. They are preachers. Malachi was the preacher. Malachi was not qualified for tithes. Even Jesus Christ did not receive tithes because he was of the tribe of Judah. Paul did not receive tithes because he was of the tribe of Benjamin. Therefore, Jesus Christ was not qualified to receive tithes. Not only that, Jesus Christ did not receive tithes nor pay tithes because he was, because of a, he was a carpenter. Only farmers and people that, uh, uh, people that planted food products and, 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 and vegetables, uh, planters that were tithers. F people that fish did not tithe. There is no such thing as giving 10% of the fish products to Israel because they were perishable. Only plants, vegetables, fruit and vegetables, and animals were tithable products, not money. Money is mentioned many times in the Bible. It is mentioned over 116 times in the Old Testament. Silver is mentioned 295 times in the uh, Old Testament. Gold is mentioned 383 times in the Old Testament. Shekels, which is a certain weight of silver, is mentioned 126 times in the Old Testament. Therefore, money in all its forms was mentioned at least over 900 times in the Bible. God did not want Israel's money. He wanted to Obedience. He wanted food products and animals. Money was not given to the Levites nor the poor. Preachers are robbing the poor. The poor did not tithe under the old covenant. Now I'm going to read also uh, Deuteron uh, Isaiah 10 chapter verses 1 and 2. Woe be unto them that decree unrighteous decrees that right grievousness which they have bestrived to turn aside the needy from judgment or justice and to turn away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Proverbs 19, 17, He that had pity upon the poor, lending unto the Lord, and that which he had given, would he pay him again? Proverbs 22, 22, and 23, Rob not the poor, because he is poor. Neither oppressed or afflicted in the gate, for the Lord will plead their cause and the spoil of the souls of those that spoil him. Malachi, Matthew 19, 21, Jesus said unto him, if thou would be perfect, go and sell what thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. You know as well as I do, no preacher is going to tell a man of substance to sell all you have and follow him. In other words, join his church. Jesus Christ told the rich young ruler to sell all thou have and give to the poor. A preacher will not do that. It is a blessing to share with the poor. The reason why there was a curse upon Israel, because the Levites were stealing from the poor, like preachers are stealing from the body in Christ from the poor today. All, only Jews tied it. Samaritans did not tithe. Egyptians did not tithe. People from other nations did not tithe. Only the seed of Abraham tithe. Only Jews under the old covenant tithe.